with the advent of a Mothman, a bunny girl with a gun, and the simultaneous bankruptcy of the Fago community, we got the Buster Meta. Whether you're a new player looking for the strongest servant, a whale trying to justify some financial decisions, or don't even know what I'm talking about and just enjoy hearing my YouTube voice, I hope this video leaves you satisfied. In this tier list, servants are rated based on their support requirements as well as their damage values when 3 turn farming. Now, I know some of you may look at this list and go, Uh, Pocket, where could June and Gilgamesh in B tier while Ishtar is in A tier? You gotta think for a feed or something, Pocket. <clears throat> That's between me and your mother, but if you want to get into the weeds of it, I'll have my tier list, which will be continuously updated with all specific damage thresholds, new servants, and the rationals behind them linked below. If you're new to FGO, I've also included turn-by-turn -turn directions on what skills to use for every servant composition, as well as a dictionary on all the terms used linked below. But before you start researching my 200-page dissertation on how to optimize your gameplay, it's important to experiment it's important to experience the game at your own pace. FGO is something special. You don't see people making spreadsheets, custom calculators, AMVs, and 200-page guides for just any game. Whether it's the thrill of rolling, the immersive storytelling, or just some good damn art. There's a lot of heart to what makes FGO what it is, from the climactic moments to the beautifully mundane. So whatever got you here, whether it be the character art, a meme you saw at 1am, or an epic fight scene, wherever you came from, I hope you remember to enjoy the things that brought you here in the first place. The S tier servants. Servants in this tier are capable of three turn farming, most level 90 plus enemy waves with no craft essences equipped. If FGO is your first gacha game, it may seem like a simple waifu collector at first, but as you progress through the story, as you expand your list of characters, more resources become necessary to upgrade your servants which can be obtained more efficiently during Lotto events. This makes the S tier servants the most efficient for farming resources due to their ability to fill 6 slots with event bonus craft essences that increase material drop rates. Now, if you want to min max your Saint Quartz for the best farming team, you could get MP1 Koyan Skya, MP2 Melazine, MP2 Oberon, and an MP1 Waiver with your free SSR ticket from completing the Fiyuki tutorial and win the game. However, there's more to FGO than just farming. <laughs> Sometimes, all it takes is a certain line, a specific scene, or just a single second to be all the reason someone needs to rule their favorite character. And whether you end up saving for meta reasons or waifu reasons, just remember, while you could spend your life savings to get a PNG character to say a couple lines to you, you could use your prime sub on me just to say your name. The A tier servants. Servants in this tier can farm most level 90 plus nodes with a 50% MP charge CE and do not require Oberon, using Waver instead to meet the damage and MP charge requirements to 3 turn farm most level 90 plus nodes at MP2. If you're so broke that your credit score has a higher number than your bank account, the A tier servants are some of the more free to play friendly servants to use while still maintaining some efficiency when it comes to farming. Now, you could look at all these stats and spreadsheets and go, Man of this, man of that, have you ever met a fucking girl before? Yeah, I met your mom. However, while you could save up your precious sync quartz to roll for this, you could also save for this. The B tier servants. These servants are similar to the A tier servants, except they require an Oberon instead of Waver to meet the damage and MP charge requirements to farm most level 90 plus nodes at MP2. 
Despite being B-tier farming servants, according to our arbitrary standards, many servants excel far beyond their three-tier farming capabilities, with some outdamaging many A-tier servants. And it breaks my heart to adhere to my own strict standards because, okay, this part of the video got copyright strike, so I'm gonna just skip 20 seconds ahead, okay. The C tier servants. These servants require a case of CE along with either double Oberon and Queen and Skya or double Queen and Skya and Oberon to farm most level 90 plus nodes. Now, the C tier servants may not be the flashiest SR, SSR, or USSR servants, but it has one of the cheapest servants you can find for three turn farming Spartacus. Using Spartacus, Arash, Waver, Shakespeare, and a support Oberon, you can consistently 3 turn farm level 90 nodes without having to spend a single cent, needing only a CE with starting MP charge on Spartacus. If you just started and want to future-proof your account, spending as few sync courts as possible and retire by 30, sign up for my online course over at my Patreon, where I'll teach you how anime NFTs can help secure your financial future. I wanted to get rich not because I like money, but because I wanted NP5 Mordoretto. The D tier servants. These had the same support requirements as the C tier servants, but hit like wet noodles. <laughs> Despite the high cost and low performance of the D tier servants, many of them can specialize in fields outside of three turn farming. <laughs> Yeah, these guys don't have any MP charge skills. There's far more advantages to the servants here than just how well they farm, with many of those advantages being more important to some than others. And whether your favorite servant came in S tier, EX tier, or S EX tier, don't forget the important part is getting them to come in the first place. Dude, dude, dude! As always, I'll continuously update the Buster tier list as more servants are released. And if you want to see more of me while waiting 10 years for my next video to come out, you'll find me over on twitch.tv forward slash pocket chalk. Sorry for the long wait on this one. There are some growing pains to be had, but hopefully I'll get a monthly schedule going soon. But until then, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see ya on the next one. Laters!